Hi, I'm Monica Lapasse. I'm the, the photography teacher at the STT Healing Images program. Uh, and we started with, I think it was between five and seven clients that sort of rotate in and out. But in the beginning, we just, you know, start the process of handing them point and shoot cameras. They get to take them home. Uh, they get to take as many photographs as they like. They come in with their images. We have a critique session where we go over their work and they get to share with us what their thoughts are about the image. And we try and, you know, we do sort of the therapy end of that and letting them communicate and talk. But we also do the photo critique of that and try to help them, you know, understand how to get a better composition. Some of the subjects that we would, or some of the assignments that we would give them was shoot a safe place, photograph a safe place for you, uh, photograph what meal time or dinner time looks for you, looks like for you now, the differences in those things, you know, um, what are they having for dinner now? They seem like very simple, you know, elements to photograph or to even talk about, but these things actually wound up provoking some really powerful conversations during our critique and therapy sessions. So our one uh, client, she took a photograph of the bus stop where she has to wait at every single day. And when you look at it photographically, it might not look like the most amazing photo. It's a picture with a couple of uh, bushes or branches in the foreground and sort of an out of focus um, ditch or a hole in the background. But you know, we, each picture we go through and take time to ask them, why did you take this? What were, what were you thinking when you took this? And she said, this reminds me of the ditch that I had to hide my family in when I was back home in Africa to keep to hide them from soldiers that were coming and would have, you know, most likely have killed her family. Her second photo in this group was a picture that she actually took of the MTA bus. And that was a very interesting compositional photo. And she said, uh, but I get to get on this bus every single day. And I have the freedom to go, you know, you know, wherever I want to go without persecution. I have the ability to be able to do that. So it makes me happy. But we have other assignments that are, that are based around the home and where they live now. Uh, other assignments that are based on, you know, them having a sense of safety or security. And we do a self-portrait, which wound up being very successful, our last class, giving them that ability to take a photograph of themselves that was, you know, expressive. I think that that was a really powerful assignment for them. It was sort of a, a proof of their existence. So like the program, it's doing this great job of fostering and I feel like, you know, really helping to plant these seeds of not only hopefulness, but um, them getting, you know, on a path of, you know, healing and recovery and bringing up these simple things that they see every day that maybe they, they wouldn't take and internalize, but then when, they want, when they're in here and they wind up doing that, the things, the stories that come out of them, I think definitely are, are, are helpful you know, to their, to their experience here. Uh, my name is Lauren Chandler. I'm a psychology extern at ASCT, so I'm in the last year of my doctoral program to get a doctorate in psychology. I run the clinical part of the group, so getting people to talk about the photographs that they take, um, what the mean is behind them, um, and just sort of how that's related to the things in their past, what, what it means to them to be taking these photos and sharing the photos, that sort of thing. It's one thing to talk about something, it's another thing to show people something, and sometimes it's very difficult to talk about the things that have happened to you or your feelings, um, especially for the people who don't speak English, sometimes things get lost in translation too. Photography is like a universal medium, and to be able to express yourself in an art form, I think, is also very powerful, so you're not just you know, talking to a therapist about something, but you're also able to show the strength that you have or you know the difficulties that you've overcome and it's something that's I think much more powerful than words oftentimes.